since this, oh, by the way, this, this project uh, will eventually get fairly slow the more stuff I throw on the screen, so uh, I apologize for these uh, decreasing frame rate now. Um, but I'm asking a lot of processing, so. Uh, I'm going to turn on sphere locking now. So if any of the particles actually hit the sphere, they will sort of stick to the surface of the sphere. So let me gather them up. So now we have um, this uh, fairly interesting sun. Uh, all, the all the particles are still reacting to the orbital vector, but if I turn that off, then they'll settle down a bit. Uh, they're being pulled down by gravity, so the larger particles end up on the bottom, uh, and the, the smaller ones stay on top. Um, you turn on the ribbon trail again, and you can see that the ribbons as well will, uh, will react to the vector influences, so they're dropping to the bottom of the screen. Let's um, reverse the gravity, make them move up to the top. So add some more. This is when it will start to slow down quite a bit. This is what I do with my day, really. <laughs> <laughs> I. <laughs> You know, I'll stay up till four in the morning working on this because I'll think of who, what's the next thing I could add to this. Uh, and, and there's a lot going on here. I'll turn off the corona effect for the for the sun. You see that the, the, the outer, outer glow goes away. Uh, if I can turn off the uh, nebula effect and the smoke goes away, I can turn off the surface locking uh, graphics, which are also just uh, pictures of nebula. Um, but there's enough of them overlapping that it forms this nice um, uh, sun-like texture to the surface. Uh, so if I turn that off, um, turn it back into the emitter. Like it's this, this whole bizarre world that um, I get to toy around with. Um, let's turn it back over. So there's probably like 20 different toggles I have in here that I can just turn on and off uh, uh, as I choose. And uh, because of that, you end up with some nice combinations that you uh, that you didn't think were uh, were possible with the engine you're working with. Uh, like if I get rid of all the, uh, the particles and just make a bunch of attractors, and then pull them in real tight.